This is graffiti gardening. This is using site marker spray paint to paint out the design for your garden on the ground, just like a, it, as if it were a plan, but actually on your lawn. So here I've set out a planting bed to describe a circular lawn space with a central tree as a focal point. And you can see there's a grass path leading down to the tree and then through to the other side. And then there will be other grass paths leading off the circle to other venues in the garden. And then having marked out with the spray paint, um, then the, the key is to dig over the bed. As you see I've started to do that. And you can do this in two ways. You can either spray the lawn with a total killer um, and then just cultivate the edges to create a, a crisp um, bed edge like, like that. Or you can dig it over in the way I've done and reverse the turfs to kill the turf. And then once the turf is dead, um, you can plant your plants. But sometimes, a little, especially in wet weather, the, the grass can sort of regrow. Um, so it is a good idea to cover the bed with um, either a plastic sheet or with grass cuttings, uh, which is what I do, um, just to keep the light away and ensure that the grass dies off properly. Um, but this is a very quick and easy way of creating new beds, new, new gardens, um, using the graffiti garden technique, which is site marker spray paint which you get from many builders merchants, and then spraying it out in the garden. Obviously you see the curves are all cut to, uh, all sort of set out to, to radii and I always end up uh, going into a curve with a 90 degree uh, angle as you see the little square at the edge of the circle. Um, and this always ensures that the design looks right and that the paths that come into a circular space centre on the, the, mid, the middle point.